video. It's gonna get demonetized so quickly. <laughs> so quickly. Hello my lovelies, my name is Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, then just know that most of my content isn't this sex related, but yes, I am always thinking about sex because I am a complete and utter sex maniac, sex addict, think about it all the time, dirty minded, all of those things, <laughs> so. Maybe this is a really good introduction <laughs> to me. But anyway, for those of you who aren't new and are my returning subscribers, in today's video I am finally talking about post-op sex and that is because since kind of April I've been doing some experimenting with my new vagina and having sex with everything and you know, so today <laughs> I am finally talking about post-op sex. This is a very quick disclaimer. On my channel here at Stephanie Lynette, we are sex positive. However, this video is intended for individuals aged 18 or over. We will be discussing sexual terms, sex, and graphic situations in terms of sexual penetration and a neo-vagina, as well as mentions of anal and oral sex. So if you are under 18 and do not want to watch any of those things, then please click away from this video and I will link a family friendly video just, it's just right there. It's okay, so let's just dive right in as it were. <laughs> God. I wanted to make this video for such a long time but I hadn't had sex and I was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, when did I have sex and things like that? So as you guys know, I had my gender reassignment surgery, sexual reassignment surgery, vaginoplasty on the 15th of February, 2020. And I have not had sexual intercourse until like Easter weekend here in the UK, which was like mid April. So I've recently started to kind of experiment with kind of sex and things like that. I have had sex with two male partners and one female partner. I have had kind of anal, oral and experimented a little bit with kind of vaginal and penetrative sex and things like that. So I'm going to be talking about all of it in this video. I'm going to be giving you the lowdown. Um, yeah, so <laughs> here we go. So the first thing that I want to get super clear is that I have not had penetrative sex within my kind of vagina, with a penis or like a phallus or anything like that. I encountered a lot of complications following on from my operation and dilation became very difficult for me uh, because of said complications. So the loss of depth in my vaginal cavity is kind of stopping me from kind of pushing for that. I could achieve a kind of deeper and wider vagina if I wanted to, if I pushed myself more with my dilation and things like that. But it's very painful for me. It's not very enjoyable and yeah, I just... Yeah, <laughs> so first things first, I have not had a penetrative vaginal sex with my new vagina. I don't really plan to anytime soon just because of kind of the connotations of how uncomfortable it makes me feel and things like that. So just wanted to get that out of the way, like straight away. <laughs> okay, okay. So now I hear you screaming in the background, but Steph, if you're not having vaginal sex, then what sex are you having? Well, my friends, let me tell you what type of sex I am having. I have been having anal sex and I have been having oral sex and it has been very, very fun. There have been toys. There have been fun kind of encounters with certain things, shall we say. So yes, I am still having penetrative sex, but anally and not vaginally. And uh, I'm here to tell you that it feels exactly the same. I thought anal sex might feel different after you had surgery. However, it does not. I thought it might feel different because the new vagina goes between your bladder and your prostate. And I thought it might affect the kind of positioning of everything, but it still feels just as good just so you know just in case you're worried about kind of loss and sensation of any of that area yeah so anal sex still feels really really good so okay 
Moving on to the main topic of conversation, my vagina. What am I using my vagina for? Does my vagina work? And things like that. So one of the first things I wanted to answer was, is a new vagina self-lubricating? Now this varies a lot from kind of vagina to vagina, as it does in kind of like biological women. However, the new vagina I have is self-lubricating to an extent. So a lot of people who have neo vaginas, they aren't self-lubricating and they do need to use a lubricant. I would recommend kind of like a water-based lubricant or something like that, something easy to clean, something super hygienic. But mine is fairly self-lubricating, which is quite good. And because I'm only using it for kind of, I mean, excuse the vulgarity, but you know, your fingers and tongues and toys, I don't really need any assistance in terms of lubrication. However, I know a lot of people do. So that's lubrication out of the way. One thing to note as well is that I thought I was gonna be really self-conscious about my weight because obviously I have gained weight since having my surgery. Um, and it's something that I was really worried about during sexual intercourse, but actually it kind of affirmed me and made me feel very feminine. Um, and it might've just been the people I was with. I had some kind of like good feedback about kind of being more curvaceous and things like that. But yeah, so I was really worried about my weight and I really kind of didn't need to be, which was really, really really nice actually um it made me feel much better about being slightly bigger <laughs> the next thing is sensitivity does my clitoris work can i achieve orgasm and all of those things and i am i'm delighted delighted to feedback thank you to my doctor that yes i can achieve an orgasm i can achieve multiple orgasms and um everything's very very sensitive like hypersensitive and it is very enjoyable for myself but very enjoyable for my partners apparently as well um so <laughs> yes uh, as I said, I have had intercourse with two men and one woman. Uh, everyone who participated uh, experimented with insertion uh, in terms of fingers and toys into my new vaginal cavity and also oral sex. Um, so the feedback on that is, oh my god, it feels just like a real vagina. And oh my god, that's a vagina. And oh my god, it tastes just like a vagina. <laughs> so. I'm very happy to report that everything seems to be working um, as it should, which is great. And the hypersensitivity is really nice. Uh, when I was pre-op, I was never able to achieve orgasm during sex because I was very like in my head about my body, about the fact I didn't like my body and things like that. So being able to achieve orgasm during sex is very fulfilling for my kind of sexual partners, which is really, really great. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it's just weird talking about this, like it's just kind of like nothing. Oral sex feels really, really good. Um, using kind of fingers and toys in terms of vaginal penetration felt really, really good. It kind of pushes on kind of certain pressure spots inside of the near vagina against the prostate and things like that. So it feels very, very nice. <laughs> Um, in terms of kind of like the build up to it, I was really, really nervous and really, really anxious. And I was worried that things get, weren't gonna kind of work right. People weren't gonna like it. I was worried that the reviews would be bad, that like my vagina wouldn't be like a normal vagina. Um, but I had intercourse with three people who I trust hugely um, and who I really, really appreciate and things like that. Another thing to note is to remember that a neo vagina functions just like a regular vagina in terms of contracting any sexually transmitted infections or diseases. So wear protection, use a condom, all of those things, everything that you feel is appropriate to keep yourself safe during sex. Do not alternate between the anal cavity and the vaginal cavity. In terms of myself, I don't really have to worry about this because I'm not having penetrative vaginal sex, but in terms of kind of fingering and things like that and using toys, do not alternate between the anus and the vagina because it is a disaster waiting to happen and it will just result in UTIs and infections and don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. And remember that if you are having penetrative sex in your near vagina and your anus, make sure that your partner changes the condom if you're alternating between the two, if you're with a partner who needs to wear a condom and things like that. So just remember not to, not to back and forth. Yeah. So for myself, in terms of orgasm and hypersensitivity, I achieve orgasm quite quickly now. Um, I experimented a lot with kind of masturbation and things over the last year because COVID, obviously. New vagina plus COVID. 
Um, so I knew that I could achieve orgasm very, very quickly. And I could do that with my partners as well, which was really, really nice. Um, it was interesting kind of like coming first, um, which was very, very strange. Um, so yeah, that was, that was great. <laughs> Um, in terms of like hygiene and cleanliness, just making sure that you clean up the vagina after you have had sex, or for example, if someone kind of ejaculates into your near vagina cavity, make sure that you're washing it out because it is not self-cleaning like a normal vagina would be. Um, so make sure that you're sorting all of those things out and kind of staying on top of it, keeping hygienic in terms of all of those things. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keeping on top of all of that. Um, but no, I mean, I had a... <laughs> It's a really fun time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, <laughs> and I mean, there's probably so much else for me to talk about in terms of like post-op sex. And there's so much that I've probably missed out of this. So what I will probably do is either do more videos based on kind of pre-op versus post-op sex and things like that. Or if you guys have like burning questions in terms of having sex with the new vagina. Maybe I could do another Q&A because I've not done a Q&A in a really, really long time. Um, so just let me know if you would like either of those things in the comments just down below. To the three sexual partners who uh, partook in the taking of my brand new virginity. Thank you so much. I had a great time. I hope you had a really good time too. So my lovelies, that is it I suppose for today's video, but like I said, if you have any questions, please comment them down below if you'd like me to do a Q&A in terms of kind of pre-op versus post-op sex, or you want to see a video specifically on pre-op versus post-op, like which I prefer and things like that, then please do let me know. I am one very satisfied customer with my vagina and my new sex life, so very, very happy with all of those things. Oh my goodness. So my lovelies, that's it for today's video. Video, and I will be seeing you either on Wednesday next week because my videos come out on Wednesdays in case you didn't know and if you don't know you should probably hit the subscribe and then the notification bell and you know it comes up um, or I will be doing a live stream this Sunday at 6 30 UK time which is when I do my live streams it's the last Sunday of every month if you didn't know that either you should probably subscribe and click the notification bell and give a thumbs up and all of those things. Bring some vagina related questions and let me know in the comments down below, like I said, if you would like that pre-op versus post-op kind of sex video and all of those fun things. So I will see you then. And yeah, that's it. Stay safe, wear a condom, have sex. Bye. <laughs>